So nearly 5.7 million people are likely to lose their homes in the next 60 days of 17 million who are not current on rent or mortgage payments, okay? Um, I'm looking at this interesting article by the Visual Capitalist. I'm gonna link it for everybody in the description and mapping out the potential US home loss, which is percentage of at risk of foreclosure or eviction, people who are not current on payments. We all know the moratorium got pushed until the end of this year. So a lot of people have a big question mark about the future of the real estate market. This was one interesting article that I wanted to read, give you a breakdown of some of the states real quick for you, which ones are the most uh, at risk and also some of the highest hit and potential foreclosures and that kind of stuff as far as metro areas, okay? So if we're gonna start with certain metro areas, Houston, the Woodlands and Sugarland, Texas, 265,000 plus people at a percentage of 47.6%, meaning that they're behind on their mortgage payments, right? Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, metro area, 147,000 people at 34.1%. Uh, they have the top 10 here, which spans through Georgia, Wisconsin, you know, Indiana, Washington, Michigan, Pennsylvania, uh, the California Bay Area, right? San Francisco, Oakland, Berkeley, being at 61,000 people, uh, roughly at 31%. Um, wow, that's uh, pretty crazy, right? Uh, if I'm gonna zoom in on some of the states that are the highest percentage, we have Louisiana, 56.2% of people are behind on rent and mortgage payments. Uh, New Mexico, 52.7%. Wyoming, 47.6%. Uh, Mississippi, 46.4%. Missouri, 48. Kansas, 42. Uh, Nevada, 34. Um, South Carolina, 36.8%. New York, 41.9%. Um, this is pretty interesting. Iowa, 40.4%. Um, some of the states are lower, uh, not all of them, like Utah is at 19.5%, uh, which is pretty low. Delaware is the safest state at 15.1%, which equates to about uh, 6,000 people. So this is pretty crazy. I'm going to link it for you guys so you can check it out. Again, this doesn't guarantee uh, that people are going to lose their homes because who knows what's going to happen with this whole moratorium thing. Joe Biden and uh, Trump have talked about it, uh, but we don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, this is pretty interesting data though. I recommend all of you look at it. That way as a consumer, you can understand a little bit more as an agent, you're a little bit more informed and that way you're a little bit better prepared for 2021. But this was really crazy. 5.7 million people could potentially lose their homes in the next 60 days. Wow, what a headline. All right, see you guys.